Welcome to episode two of Behind the Scenes in Remote Learning in District 58. In this episode, we will hear from Brittany Sanfilippo, who is a third grade teacher at Highland School. It's hard work to do this job well. And I think remote learning has really just exaggerated the kind of work that this job entails to do it right by the kids. All of a sudden, in-person connection has been replaced with Zoom calls and the planning meetings that I'm used to having every day almost with my third grade level colleagues have turned into upwards of two hour Zoom conferences, trying to plan for the following week and making sure that we have everything in place for the kids to be as successful as they can be as they are not in school. I'm always used to doing formative assessment in my classroom. That's how I gauge how the kids are understanding the concepts I'm teaching. And that has turned into reviewing between 60 and upwards to 100 assignments each day, trying to see what my kids are understanding, what they need help with, and giving feedback on the majority of that work, um, just to make sure that they know that I am connecting with them. There have been a lot of technology hurdles with myself and the kids. There have been check-ins with many parents just trying to make sure that they know that I'm there to support their child and them during this process. And of course, there have been many meetings. The meetings haven't stopped. It's just learning how to manage that along with teaching remotely. I am definitely a perfectionist to a fault. And in real time, I feel like I can constantly make mistakes because I can instantly fix them. And I can instruct differently if I notice that my kids aren't understanding what I'm teaching. But with remote teaching, it feels like I have one shot and I have to explain it the best that I can in that moment because if I don't, I'm not there to fix it. And then it becomes a problem that I'm trying to fix over the phone or through email or a Zoom call. That's hard. So recording a lesson can take between 30 minutes to an hour for me and it usually depends on how many slides I also have to create, but the stakes feel higher, if that's even possible in remote teaching, but it feels that way because I want to do right by my kids. You know, what has struck me the most through this experience is just how important relationships are that we hold with our students. And teaching is definitely meant to be in person, right? And there's a trade-off between teacher and student that you just cannot replicate on a Zoom call. It's something that is authentic in the classroom. And don't get me wrong, tech is fantastic and we have been singing its praises during our remote teaching. However, there are barriers that come along with that too because the kids act differently. They may not feel comfortable on a virtual call and it's just a capture of one moment, right? You don't know how they're doing the rest of the day. Where for me as a teacher, being in the classroom with my kids allows them to allows me to see how they are doing academically, socially, but also just emotionally throughout the school day. And that's been removed with remote teaching. I miss my kids, and it's been the hardest part of remote teaching being away from them. And part of that is just the daily interactions that I get to have with them. And for some kids, those insignificant moments for us as teachers are the most significant because that's how we gauge how they are doing, how they are coping, how they are feeling about something, how they're understanding. And that is missing from remote teaching and that's hard. So yes, remote teaching has been challenging. There have been really hard days. And I say that with the recognition that everyone during this time or any other time, you know, in the future or past, there have been challenges that they have been battling. And so nothing can truly be compared. But what I have been reminded of during this time is just how much I love my job. And it's been amazing for me to see the dedication and creativity and just constant collaboration that my colleagues uh, show so that they can support their students too. 
So <laughs> while my 45 minute commute to work has changed to maybe a five second walk in my home and all of my connections with students and staff have become virtual and my lesson planning and creating methods have definitely shifted. It has all been worth it because they are.